welcome to my channel if you are a long-term subscriber let me just take the opportunity to say thank you very much for supporting my channel and if you're a newbie around here do press the subscribe button if you're interested in wig reviews i'm all about doing wig reviews that will show you how the wig is straight out of the packet so as little manipulation as possible let's get on with today's review which is on the briar wig by janet collection i'm excited to review this wig because it brings something slightly different to the table and i'm really into the natural textured wigs that have been released recently that said i absolutely adore this one that i've got on at the moment this is toby by zuri hollywood and if you haven't got this wig you do need it um, it is part of their flawless collection and just look at the hairline no plucking nothing it just looks amazing straight out of the box i do have a review on it so if you have a look up here you'll be able to see a link to that video so here is the wig straight out of the box the color i have is the dr2 cinnamon swirl it's very very pretty look at the colors the ombres in this is beautiful. The blend is just like natural hair. Um, immediately apparent is this soft Swiss lace and it does have this nice pre-plucked deep part. Can you see that? Look at that. And also the part actually, although it's pre-plucked, it does actually have hairs in the part. So it looks a bit more natural than some of the ones that don't seem to have any hair or, to, or whatsoever in the part and the part looks too wide. It also has baby hairs which are a decent length which means that if you want to trim them you can. I don't know if you can see it too well but I just really wanted to show you how much attention they've paid to the knotting because the front rows of the wig are single knotted which means that the hair is really fine and then it moves into double knotting where you've got your thicker strands so this is really important if you want to have like a graduated hairline so the quality of knotting that's gone into this wig is high um, and that's really important for a natural hairline so let's hope that that translates because i have absolutely enjoyed the hairline on this uh, this siri wig look at that look look you move it and it looks like you can just see my scalp look at it so i'm hoping that this will be something similar with this janet wig i'm going to just test for shedding and then we will see if the hairline is as great as it seems so a few strands but nothing of major concern inside the cap there are one two three combs and also uh, elasticated bands for you to be able to adjust so I'm just going to cut off the lace and then get back to you with how it feels when it's on so the cap is definitely big head friendly because the tabs are coming right down to my ears and the front section actually slightly past the top of my ears let me show you here See, that's interesting because most caps stop at the top of my ear so that's nice size look at this the texture is really nice now they do say that their natural me textures like the blow-up textures that they make is different from the rest of the manufacturers they say that theirs are more similar to natural blowout hair and i must admit that they may be onto something there they may be onto something us women we, we love that the, the feel of when our hair is just washed and has just been treated and it feels soft and this is not too dissimilar to that look at that um, the density is really good it's not too poofy i like this cut this is definitely a work wig isn't it you know you can imagine yourself going to work and wearing this wig and nobody would be able to tell that it was not your hair so that's really nice so look at that i really like it this is the part up close i haven't put any foundation in there the lace is quite light 
And with regards to the hairline, it's fairly natural. It is not as flawless like the flawless hairline collection from Zuri Hollywood, but I think we can work with this. I was just looking on the card to see whether it's heat safe. It doesn't say anywhere on this wig that you can actually tongue it. I presume that the reason why they don't want you to tongue it is because it will change the texture of the wig. I think you probably could, but you have to understand that if you were to apply heat, you're literally going to modify the, the fibre. This wig is absolutely stunning. Look at the movement. It's got good movement on it. Yeah! Oh, I zhuzhed with it a little bit. I think that wigs look better when they are not entirely perfect. I am so feeling this wig. I like it. Like this video, subscribe, and I will see you at my next video. Thank you.